let's get right into it. Number 10. The Time Traveling GPS You're driving down the road, following your GPS, thinking everything's normal. In reality, your phone is bending time to tell you where you are. Those satellites orbiting Earth are experiencing time differently than we are down here. And it's not a tiny difference. If GPS didn't account for it, you'd end up miles away from your destination. Time moves faster up there in space. The GPS satellites are experiencing time about 45 microseconds faster each day than we are. That might not sound like much, but for GPS, that's huge. A few microseconds of error means your location is off by miles. This happens because of Einstein's theory of relativity. Gravity doesn't just pull on objects, it actually pulls on time itself. The stronger the gravity, the slower time moves. Since Earth's gravity is weaker where the satellites are, time moves faster for them. The satellites are also moving really fast, about 8,700 miles per hour. According to Einstein, the faster something moves, the slower time moves for it. So we have two effects fighting each other, weaker gravity speeding time up and high speed slowing it down. Add these effects together, and the satellite's clock still ends up running about 38 microseconds faster than Earth clocks each day. Without correcting for this, your GPS would be off by about 7 miles every single day. Good luck finding that Starbucks when your phone thinks it's 7 miles from where it actually is. Every time you use GPS, your phone is doing complex physics calculations. It's compensating for the fact that time itself flows differently in space. Your phone isn't just telling you where to go. It's using Einstein's theories to account for the warping of space and time, just to tell you where the nearest McDonald's is. Number 9. The Controlled Fall of Walking Your parents didn't teach you how to walk. They taught you how to fall and fail at it. Every single step you take is technically a controlled fall. When you walk, you're literally throwing yourself off balance on purpose. You lean forward until your body starts to fall, but right before you faceplant, your other foot swings out to catch you. For a split second during each step, your body's center of mass is actually falling forward. You're constantly playing a trust fall with gravity. Your brain is doing complex physics calculations every time you take a step. It's predicting exactly where and when to place your foot to catch your fall. It's doing this thousands of times every day without you even thinking about it. It's basically like having a tiny Einstein in your head. Instead of E equals MC squared, he's making sure you don't fall on your face. Tripping on nothing is just your brain messing up its physics homework. Your internal Einstein forgot how gravity works for a second. This is why robots still can't walk as efficiently as humans. Engineers have been trying for decades to make robots walk like us, but they just can't nail that controlled falling thing. So you're not just walking. You're constantly falling and catching yourself like a gravity-defying ninja, doing something that our most advanced robots still can't figure out. Number 8. The Ketchup Trick you turn a ketchup bottle upside down and nothing happens. You shake it a bit, still nothing. Then you shake it harder and suddenly half the bottle ends up on your plate. Turns out you've been manipulating physics this whole time. Ketchup isn't your normal everyday liquid. It's what scientists call a non-Newtonian fluid. That's just a fancy way of saying it doesn't play by the rules. Normal liquids like water are pretty straightforward. Tilt the container and they flow. But ketchup behaves more like a solid when it's just sitting there. All the tiny tomato particles are locked together like a microscopic game of Jenga. When you shake the bottle, you're breaking up their party and telling all those particles to stop holding hands. They line up and start sliding past each other. That's when your ketchup suddenly transforms from a stubborn solid to a runny liquid. Scientists found that shaken ketchup can flow up to 1,000 times more easily than when it's still. This is why one second you're desperately shaking the bottle, and the next your fries are drowning in a red tsunami. You're literally changing the physical properties of matter just to make your french fries less boring. Number 7. The microwave's invisible hot and cold spots. A microwaved burrito that's nuclear hot and arctic cold at the same time isn't just annoying. It's because of weird physics happening inside the box. Your microwave creates invisible standing waves of energy. Think of it like a jump rope that's not moving forward or backward, just going up and down in the same spots. These waves bounce around inside your microwave. When they meet, they either cancel each other out, creating a cold spot, or they team up to create a super-powered hotspot. The spots where they team up are your I-just-burned-my-tongue zones. The spots where they cancel are why your pizza has ice-cold pepperoni next to molten cheese. This is why your microwave has that spinning plate. It's trying to move your food through these hot and cold zones to even things out. If you take out the rotating plate and microwave a slice of cheese for a few seconds, you'll actually see these hot spots mapped out in the melted patterns. 
Your microwave isn't actually heating your food directly. It's vibrating the water molecules in your food, making them dance like crazy until they heat themselves up from all the friction. It's like forcing your food to do CrossFit until it gets hot. Number 6. The unfair acoustic advantage of your shower. You sound like a rock star in the shower, but more like a dying cat everywhere else. Your bathroom isn't just being nice. There's serious physics happening in there. Your shower is basically a DIY recording studio. The hard, non-porous surfaces like tiles and glass are perfect sound reflectors. When you sing, the sound waves from your voice bounce off all these surfaces so quickly that your brain can't process them as separate echoes. Instead, your brain blends all these reflections into one rich, full sound. It's like having a choir of invisible yous backing up your performance. This is called reverberation, or reverb. Your shower hits the sweet spot. If it were much bigger, you'd get distinct echoes. If it were smaller, the sound would get muddy. The reverb also masks all your pitch problems and vocal wobbles. It's like Instagram filters for your voice, making everything sound better than it really is. That's why when you try to recreate your shower performance elsewhere, it sounds less impressive. So don't quit your day job based on your shower performance. Those tiles are lying to you. Number 5. Floating on nothing while you sleep. You're floating right now. At the atomic level, you're hovering above whatever you're sitting on. The atoms in your body never actually touch the atoms in your chair or bed. There's an invisible force field between them. It's the electromagnetic repulsion of the electrons in your atoms pushing against the electrons in the chair's atoms. It's like pushing two magnets together with the same poles facing. No matter how hard you push, there's always an invisible barrier keeping them apart. When you lie down to sleep, you think you're on your mattress, but you're actually floating just above it. Your entire body weight is held up by these electron force fields. Scientists call the principle that keeps atoms from collapsing and allows for this repulsion the Pauli exclusion principle. It essentially means that electrons really hate being forced into the same space as other electrons. If this force didn't exist, you'd fall through your bed, through your floor, and you'd keep going until you reach the center of the earth. Number 4. Breaking the sound barrier with a whip. When you see a whip being cracked in a movie, that iconic sound isn't just a random noise. It's a sonic boom, the same thing that happens when a jet breaks the speed of sound. When you swing a whip, you create a wave of energy that travels from the thick handle down to the thin tip. As this wave moves along, the whip gets progressively thinner and lighter, but all that energy from your arm is still moving through it. To conserve the energy, the wave has to speed up as the whip gets lighter. It's like squeezing a tube of toothpaste that gets narrower at the end. The stuff has to move faster to get out. By the time this wave of energy reaches the flexible tip, it's moving at over 750 miles per hour. That's faster than the speed of sound. When something moves faster than sound, it outruns the pressure waves it creates in the air, resulting in a sonic boom. That's the crack you hear. For centuries, people had been breaking the sound barrier for fun without even knowing it. Probably the only time humans achieved this before we even knew what the sound barrier was. Number 3. The Blade's Secret You can slice through a hard carrot with a knife using barely any effort, but try crushing that same carrot with the palm of your hand, and you can't do it. When you push down on a knife, you're not just applying force. You're concentrating all that force onto the blade's tiny edge. Imagine standing on someone's foot wearing sneakers. Now imagine standing on it with a stiletto heel. The heel hurts way more because the same weight is focused on a much smaller area. A sharp knife's edge is so thin it's almost invisible. You're focusing all your force onto an area smaller than a human hair. It's like taking the weight of an elephant and balancing it on a single needle. The pressure at that tiny point gets so intense that it literally forces the molecules of the carrot apart. If you could measure the pressure at the edge of a sharp knife as you cut, it would be higher than the pressure at the bottom of the ocean. You're creating pressures that would crush a submarine, all with the casual force of buttering toast. Number 2. The Shocking Truth of Your Socks You're shuffling across your carpet when suddenly a tiny lightning bolt jumps from your finger to the doorknob. That's you casually creating up to 25,000 volts of electricity just by walking. Your socks are actually stealing electrons from your carpet. They're little electron thieves. Every time your socks slide across the carpet, they're ripping electrons away from the carpet fibers. This is called the triboelectric effect. These stolen electrons build up in your body until you touch something metallic, like a doorknob. Metal is a great conductor, so all those stolen electrons make a break for it at once, creating the spark and the shock you feel. Now 25,000 volts sounds dangerous, but these static shocks have high voltage and almost no current. Voltage is the pressure, but current is the flow. It's like a water gun that shoots a single drop of water really, 
really fast. It has high pressure, but it's not going to flood anything. Still, you're literally making lightning in your living room just by being too lazy to lift your feet. Number one, defying entropy by being alive. Right now, you're performing one of the most impressive physics tricks in the universe. You're staying alive. According to the laws of physics, you shouldn't exist. There's a fundamental rule of the universe called the second law of thermodynamics, which states that everything tends to move from order to disorder. This tendency is called entropy. Think of it like your bedroom. Left alone, it naturally gets messier over time, never cleaner. Everything in the universe is supposed to break down, get more chaotic, more disorganized. A hot cup of coffee always cools down. It never spontaneously heats up. But here you are, a highly organized collection of trillions of cells, maintaining your body temperature, repairing damage, and keeping yourself together. Every second, your body fights against the fundamental nature of the universe. It's like building a sandcastle while the tide is coming in, except you're actually succeeding. You achieve this by taking ordered things, like food, and breaking them down into chaos to power your own order. You are creating a bubble of order in a sea of chaos by making the sea around you more chaotic. Just by existing, you are a walking, talking rebellion against the most fundamental law of the cosmos. You're spitting in the face of universal law. 24 7. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.